Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name is Quinticia Shaw and in today's video, I'm going to be giving y'all the pros and the cons of selling on Poshmark. So keep watching. <laughs> Before we begin, I just wanted to say that I've sold a total of 125 items on Poshmark, which totals about $931. Everything that I've sold on Poshmark is, is different. I've sold body scrub, I've sold soap pants, jackets, clothes in general, shoes, I've sold it all, jewelry, I've sold it. Um, I didn't really limit myself to what I was selling. I just had my boutique. I had I always kept my website and then I also sold some things out of my closet as well. But I sold a lot of listings last year because I've been selling on Postmark for like a couple of years since 2016. I would sell things here and there, then I kind of stopped. But when I started with my business, I went back to Postmark because I feel like it's great for people who are starting up on their business. So I was like, well, you know, I have all this product and stuff, so why don't I just put it out there and let Postmark help me bring customers? I'm going to start with the pros because I feel like the pros are the most important, and the cons are basically how I feel and what. I have experience, so let's just jump into it. If you are a business owner, selling on Postmark is very vital to you because it gives you a lot of opportunity to expose your business. Like you get people who share your content, they'll like it, they'll engage with you, they'll ask questions. Postmark is very community friendly and it gives people an opportunity to view your page. You also can upload your own website inside of your bio if you have one and it'll give people opportunity to click your website and go from Postmark to your website. Even though some, they do recommend don't sell off of the website but I also put it out there that my shipping was cheaper if you bought it through my website versus buying it on Postmark because that was a way for me to gain customers with that. Number two, the share parties. Now the share parties are pretty simple, easy. All you do is they'll send you a notification. They literally have share parties all the time. And they'll have share parties as far as like plus size only, kids only, shoes or heels only, jewelry only. They have all of these post parties and all you do is go on your your whatever you're selling you just go on your postmark page and you just share it into that party some people often share their own closet inside of the party and some people just join the party so that they can shop i um i noticed that if you go and you reshare a couple of people items they'll come back on your profile and they'll share your items so it, it, it always is beneficial to join the share parties because it gives you an opportunity to get your closet out there and other people will share it to their followers and then you can also boost their closet on your page and then y'all end up following each other and that's just how it goes um i was selected for a top pick one time and that's only because i always used to share my stuff and that it gains you sales like that's how you get your sales by sharing and um posting and all of that and make sure you know you have great photos and people will follow you so it's it's pretty simple it's pretty easy i say always take advantage of the share parties if you are going through it and you want to sell on postmark number three easy shipping right off the back you don't have to think too much you don't have to sit up there and calculate versus if you have your own business website you have to calculate the shipping you have to pick which shipping company you want to go through majority of the things that postmark have they ship through usps so you don't have to worry about too much but you also have to weigh your items and make sure you know if you're going over 13 i believe they will recommend you ship ups versus you know shipping through um the actual usps because they do have a weight limit and you can always go in and adjust and pick which 
shipping you think you may need when somebody buys something for you so that's always good but the shipping is so easy you don't have to worry about it you don't have to think too much it always was my favorite part all you have to do is print it off i have a thermal label printer so it was easier for me to just print it off with my thermal label that's something that i invested in but you also can print it off through like a regular printer and it'll work the same you just have to take the label that's it that's all so i always thought that it was easy to do it and i'm glad that they do offer that option to calculate your shipping for you and you don't have to worry about it number four you get better sales and you sell really fast like i said if you take advantage of the share parties nine times out of ten you're going to leave with a sale by either that day or the end of the week you're going to have a sale the way postmark works is you don't have to pay to boost your items it's it's just simple it's easy like you can just type it in on a search bar and if somebody like your item is going to sell like i know at one point i was getting sales like back to back to back every day so that was the great thing about it you're going to make a sale it's going to be easy if you stay active if you're not active on the page like i said if you're not being active and you're participating in the share parties then you're not going to get a lot of sales so that's something you have to pay attention to if you want to sell and you know you want to make some money then you have to be active just like if you're posting and you have your own business page you have to stay active you have to always post that way you get exposure and you get better sales so that's another thing number five customer support there's an option inside a postmark if a customer is having an issue or they have a question or whatever it's an option where they can add postmark support and they can add you into the chat and all three of y'all can talk and work things out but if a customer is having an issue or say you ship something off to them and it didn't come out right and they feel like they should get their money back or whatever the case may be postmark will step in and actually handle that for you versus you having to go and talk to the customer and then think about oh i'm gonna have to ship them something else or they're gonna ship it back or whatever whatever like postmark does not they do not accept returns so there's nothing that you would actually necessarily have to worry about but at the same time you know you do have that backup support and nine times out of ten postmark is gonna have your back and they're gonna make the whole situation easier for you but that's something to consider versus you have your own website you have to play that customer support role you have to be professional at all time so that's a great thing about it so now we're going to get into the cons of why i personally don't sell on postmark anymore because i sort of felt like they were taking too much money the number one thing that made me stop selling on postmark was the extra fees I could not stand it. It's like if you sell something for a set price, they're going to take a percentage out of it. Now, they say they take $2 and like 95 cents or something out of every sale you make that's under $15. But if you sell something over $15, they're going to take 20% of it. I kind of felt like that was unfair on top of the fact that customers have to pay for shipping as well. And I felt like they're paying for all these extra fees and you're barely getting anything back. So business-wise, I feel like Postmark is great to get your business out there and gain potential customers. But at the same time, you're not really making any money. That was the thing that I did not like about Postmark. I felt like they was just doing too much with that. Like either y'all make y'all money with shipping. Why do y'all have to take extra fees out or at least shipping should be free? Number two of the cons that i have is some of the customers on postmark are very cheap and they're gonna always want to do a bundle deal and they're always going to want money off and they're going to always want to argue with you about something that's your set price don't get me wrong sometimes you get customers and it's easy going they love your products it is what it is but then you always get like one or two customers that just does the absolute most and they will harass you to lower your prices because you have to think about it they still have to pay for shipping so not only are they paying for the listing price that you're not even getting the full amount of they still have to pay that $7.99 shipping so most customers don't want to pay that much so they're going to ask you hey can i get this for five dollars can i get this with seven dollars because the shipping is just too high like i feel like postmark make too much money 
for them to be charging so much with shipping and then on top of that they're taking percentages out of everything that we sell so that was just the two main issues that i had with postmark overall i feel like it's a great starting point but once you get in a groove of marketing for yourself then you should take full advantage of that and just leave postmark alone so that's where i am i'm trying to hold myself accountable for more marketing and getting myself out there and exposure and postmark was a great starting point for me but now it's time that i do my own thing and i won't be using postmark anymore and if i make sales i do if i don't i don't but at least i'm doing it myself um overall um postmark like i said is a great company and i'm not going to discourage anybody from selling on there because i did make a lot of money selling on there it was really great the then they have this thing where you can cash out you know they charge a fee just like cash app or any other company that you choose to send money through they're going to charge you a fee and it's like oh my god like y'all already charging for shipping y'all already taking percentage out then when it comes to cashing out we can't even get our money right then and there because y'all charging a fee for that too and i just felt like it was too many extra fees going on for me like i just I couldn't do postmark anymore like it, it started to really get unnecessary because I don't remember back when I was selling in 2016 that their shipping was so high and I don't remember them taking so much money out of our um out of our sales so I don't know maybe it's because of the cost of living I don't know what they have going on but me personally like I said I won't be selling on postmark anymore but I am all for anybody who wants to sell i just really feel like you guys should eventually get out of selling on there and start doing things your way but yeah these are my pros and cons of selling on postmark if you currently sell on postmark let me know in the comment section below how it's going for you if this video helped you at all let me know down below as well and i will see you guys in my next video bye